there's all these great things and 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 to be able to pull things from the shelves and to go, oh yes, I remember that book or to go, wow, what is this? And to just like find stuff is, is great, it's great fun. I think for my studio practice, most of the time I start from research. I get lots of inspiration from resources in the library, like the arts, magazines, journals, and books. I've been trying to sort of familiarize myself with artist books and the history of them and what's happening now, because it's a medium that really interests me. And then I also do weekly blog posts on a feature book. So I'll sort of just dig through and find something that interests me, research it, and find out about the publisher and the artists involved. So it's been a really nice way to learn about a lot of artists, a lot of exhibitions, a lot of publishers. The Artist Books Collection, it's really fabulous to have that at our disposal. And my course is about artist books. Part of the learning about artist books is to use them. So I, I get the students to research and put the collection to use. I had experience of having my work uh, shown in the library and that was amazing because I could see how instructors and other students in different classes are exposed to my artworks and then I could receive their feedbacks. I come here to do research but uh, this is a place where other people come to do research and in that sense we I find uh, many like-minded people. It's a particular social space in that it gathers some of us around like a, a shared interests. And in that sense, it's like um, more conductive than say just the cafeteria or uh, the school in general. Yeah.